to the profession today. Young advocates, new entrants to the profession. I would like to thank the chairman and the other office bearers of the Bar Council for giving me this opportunity to participate in the August gathering today to speak few the eminent jurists who are actually adorning the guys as judges today and also to give a few words of advice to the newly enrolled lawyers. It may be, seems to be an easy task, but however, it is not so. To speak a few words about the honorable judges sitting on the dais is no mean task. I have been associated with as a contemporary advocate of, uh, with the Honorable Justice P.P. Balaji, Honorable Justice P. Lakshmi for quite a long time. To speak about them in, the, in this August gathering in a concise manner is doing injustice to their practice. Equally to speak about the Honorable Judges, Justice Alaymadi, Justice Sakthivel, Justice Rajeshega, but also not even easy task. However, I would try to do best to do justice to the occasion and also a conference reports on me at the Park House. Honorable Justice B.B. Balaji is an astute lawyer who has been elevated to this dais to the, to the bench not only because of his long family association with law, but for his individual capability. His lordship is having vast experience, practice in writ, civil and criminal side, civil as well as original side. Under the guidance of his father, Mr. P. B. Ramanujam, his lordship was grown in such a manner that his rich experience and the learnings that he had acquired from the roots could be spread across in rendering justice and also in grooming the other advocates who appear before him. His lordship is humble personality known to everyone and soft at heart, which would be evident from the manner he moves with all persons associated with him. I congratulate his lordship on being elevated and wish you many more laurels as a judge. Honorable Justice E. Lakshmi Narayanan is a name which resonates on a writ as well as civil and original side. His lordship comes from a family of lawyers who many times have been instrumental for the name of the Madras High Court being known throughout the country. Not only is lordship had extensive practice, but I would, without any contradiction from any quarters, say that this lordship is an authority of a flaw. In fact, his lordship erudite knowledge in all facets of law has been one of the highlights for his elevation. His legal acumen is so vast that it is too fast for all advocates to move around. And in his vicinity, all the advocates, though would feel at ease in the matter of receiving justice, but would have a very tough task of satisfying him with regard to legal position. The strength of the roots in the legal field from his father would definitely have a lasting impression in the manner in which his lordship renders justice. While I compare his lordship on his elevation, I wish him further movement up in the ladder, which would be immense benefit of the entire society. Honorable Justice Kalaimadi is a person who is known for her integrity and honesty. Movement of a district judges up in the ladder in the hierarchy requires not only the understanding of nuances of law, but also a clean slate on the official front. A lordship has vast experience both in civil side and criminal side as a judicial officer in a career spanning over more than 20 years, which would definitely help in the dispensation of justice in the disposal of the cases. The experience gained by a lordship on the judicial side 
would very much of assistance in the early disposal of the cases. I wish his lordship on a renovation and a wisdom and legal knowledge to put to benefit of the litigation. <laughs> Honorable Mr. Justice Saktiwe does not require any introduction. As a direct district judge who held the post of Registrar General of this Chartered High Court, has not only had a, have a good grasp of legal knowledge, is also well versed with the administrative side of the High Court. As the Registrar General of this court, he was instrumental in many important issues which were implemented during his tenure. A person who works hard and a studious learner, the elevation of his lordship to the bench would be of great benefit to the legal fraternity and I wish his lordship an eventful period of this High Court. Honorable Justice Rajesh Shekhar also does not require any introduction. Once a member of legal fraternity who practiced as an advocate, by his will and studious knowledge, his lordship was appointed as a direct district judge. Having served in very many capacities in judicial side, including as member secretary of Tamil Nadu State Legal Service Authority, acquiring vast knowledge and not only about law but also about the difficulties faced by the litigants and also the legal service that is required to the needy, his lordship evaluation would be of immense benefit not only to the judiciary but also the litigant public. I wish his lordship on his elevation and I wish him many more laurels in the days to come. Advice to uh, newly enrolled lawyers is nothing but bitter chocolate. I am not a believer of advising the young advocates. The generation of the present day do not require any advice. Rather, they desist being advised. The intellectuality of the present generation is so high and the intelligence level is so vast that giving advice to the newly enrolled lawyers would be not in their interest. Rather, I feel that newly enrolled lawyers that was grooming in the form of guidance as they resemble a camphor which gets ignited even at the stroke of a faintest flame. However, without advising the new entrance to the legal profession on the professional side, I would like to stress that honesty, integrity and professional ethics are the main goal on which the upliftment of a lawyer thrives. If the above the qualities ingrained in the lawyers, then their success is guaranteed. They will be having a satisfactory practice of law. Such qualities would definitely showcase them in a brighter side among all the lawyers and their identity would be established. It is necessary for the new entrants to create an identity for themselves. Devotion to duty and respect for seniors and elders will make each one of you scale higher, greater heights. I trust that each one of you would take the words in mind while stepping to the borders of Chartered High Court, which will see you establish your yourself in the profession. With these words, I thank the board Council for giving me this opportunity to say a few words about the Honourable Judges. Uh, to impress upon uh, the new entrants that the humble beginnings of the honorable judges moved them to great heights and following their example the new entrants would also get their names registered in the hall of fame i wish you all success thank you